My Octopus Cozy 9 heat pump is all installed and I've been living with the heat pump for about six weeks now. The first thing I did after the scaffolding came down was to paint the black plastic trunking that holds the flow and return pipes running up between the heat pump outside and the rest of the system up in the cylinder cupboard to help it blend in a bit better. I've also painted the exposed copper overflow pipe as I didn't want a shiny copper pipe acting as a magnet to any local scallywags. I used this hammerite metal paint, which seems really good and comes in a variety of colors. So if you're wanting to do similar, I'll leave an Amazon link in the video description. The heat pump installation only took four days. And if you've not seen my other videos documenting the install, there's a link in the video description for all those. Handover took place at the end of day four, Thursday. Then it was a bank holiday weekend. So on the following Tuesday morning, Octopus sent me a payment link via email for me to pay the outstanding balance, after which I received my full handover pack, including the MCS certificate as a big 57 page PDF. As well as the big question of ongoing running costs, which I'll be making several videos on, I'm sure, one of the number one things people have asked me is, of course, how much did it cost in total to get the heat pump installed? So let's rewind back to my very first heat pump quote, which I got from filling in the basic form on the Octopus website, where I was initially quoted seven and a half thousand pounds, even after the government grant. That initial quote was much higher than I'd expected. And when discussing it with Octopus on a follow up phone call, they said it takes into account and is calculated from the most recent EPC, Energy Performance Certificate for your house. At that point, my last EPC was over 10 years old and had expired. It had been done just before we had the house insulated with external foam insulation in 2014. So I knew the rating would be far better now than it was before that was done. And I was hoping that getting an up-to-date EPC rating would bring Octopus's quote down substantially. You normally have to pay a little bit to get an EPC done, but the assessor I contacted refused to take payment. So I got that done for free. My rating went up from E to C, with the only recommendations being to get solar PV fitted, which is in our roadmap anyway, and solid floor insulation downstairs. Considering we'd have to dig up all the concrete floors downstairs to do that for a £46 per year saving, uh, no thanks. <laughs> Anyway, it was taking a while for the new EPC on the government system to show up on the Octopus system, and I was told it could take one to two months for them to be able to generate a new quote. I don't know why it's so intrinsically linked to the EPC, but hey. This was all around the time of Black Friday last year when they were offering 20% off heat pump orders. So I decided that I might as well bite the bullet and pay my 200 pound deposit since it was fully refundable right up to the day before the install. And that would unlock having an actual in-person survey of the house done with detailed heat loss calculations and a proper finalized quote, which I was hoping would be far cheaper than the 7,500 pounds I was quoted back in October. So I placed my order and paid the deposit on the 12th of December before the 20% sale ended at the end of the year and waited for my home survey after Christmas. This was done on the 22nd of January and two days later I had a quote for £6,290.99 after the government grant, including three radiator changes. That was obviously still massively more than I've been expecting to pay or wanted to pay or could afford to pay. I then realized that they'd quoted for a Daikin heat pump, whereas I definitely wanted Octopus's own cozy heat pump, because I think this is where the innovation and clever software features will be in the future. For example, integration with the intelligent tariff along with my car and Octopus being able to remotely monitor all the sensors in case of any issues for troubleshooting and other stuff, along with the convenience of running it all within the Octopus app. So I definitely didn't want to be locked out of that. Plus, I think they look a bit better than the boring square monoblocks. Which would you rather have outside your house? Let me know in the comments. So after I requested a new quote for a cozy, a second survey was booked to check additional or different requirements for the cozy heat pump on the 12th of March. And I was disappointed to see that that didn't really change the price that much at all. And it was still way too expensive. So I told them I'd be unable to go ahead at that price, even with the slight price reduction I'd managed to negotiate for keeping my existing hot water cylinder rather than having Octopus supply a new one. The Octopus rep, who was great and very patient with me, then suggested that I hold fire on cancelling as they were soon to start doing a higher flow temperature install option that wouldn't require me to change those radiators. And that would bring the initial upfront installation cost down as a trade off against potentially higher running costs. These two install options are now called Eco and Turbo, although they weren't referred to by those marketing names at the time. And by not upgrading those three radiators in the family bathroom and in the converted loft bedroom, it brought my total price after the government grant and my 20% Pink Friday discount plus an extra £100 discount down to £3,476.38. I actually managed to knock it down even more when I paid for it, and I'll get on to how I did that. 
in a moment. That extra £100 discount was a referral code I used from EV Nick. So if you're considering getting a heat pump installed by Octopus or a solar panel system, then you too can save £100 with my referral code, which is on screen now and in the video description. Or if you're watching this video on a TV, just scan the QR code on your screen. You don't have to be with Octopus for your energy supply, but they're a great company and you'll probably be better off switching to them, not least because they'll remove your gas meter for free during the heat pump installation if you're also a customer of theirs. If you switch your energy supply to them using my referral link, we both get £50 account credit, so you can effectively save £150 off getting a new heat pump. Now, if you watched my first video introducing this heat pump series, then you'll know that £800 of my install price was scaffolding costs, which might not have been necessary if we didn't have external foam insulation on the house. So it might perhaps be fairer to say that in my case, a Cozy 9 heat pump installation with no radiator changes and using my existing hot water cylinder in a well-insulated four-bedroom semi-detached house with dormer loft conversion cost £2,676.38, so just over two and a half grand, really. I also brought the cost down a little bit more by paying with my American Express cashback credit card, which got me one and a quarter percent cashback, effectively knocking £43.45 off the cost. Plus, having paid by credit card instead of a debit card, the money I spent on the heat pump could sit in my savings account, earning interest for another 56 days, saving a further £32.21. That brings my total expenditure down to a nearly round £3,400.72, including the scaffolding. I also need to mention the cost to remove my old solar thermal system, which wasn't really part of the heat pump cost, and of course won't apply to 99% of people, but that was £640. I could perhaps have done that myself, but the thought of accidentally squirting some high-pressure glycol at 150 degrees Celsius into my face wasn't appealing. So an eye-watering price for under an hour and a half's work, but my eyes weren't watering as much as if I'd squirted hot glycol into them. It's hard to say really how long the heat pump will take to pay for itself and saving money wasn't the only motivation for getting the heat pump. Removing fossil fuels from my house and the safety element was probably a bigger motivator than cost savings for me. As well as the ever-present risk of carbon monoxide poisoning when burning gas indoors, whether that's for central heating or a gas hob in your kitchen, your boiler flue is basically an exhaust pipe for your house and I absolutely hate what burning fossil fuels is doing to our planet. I hate the monopoly that oil companies have over our everyday lives and society and economy. Plus, every time I saw on the news a house getting completely destroyed by a gas explosion, it made me more and more want to get fully off gas. Plus, of course, a heat pump is more than 100% efficient, so you get out more heat energy than the electric energy you use to run it. Being electric opens up so many more possibilities. A gas boiler can only run on gas, and you're at the mercy of the gas price. But just like an electric car, whilst a heat pump can, of course, be run off expensive peak rate electricity that was dirtily generated, the UK grid is pretty darn clean now and getting cleaner all the time. We don't burn coal at all here in the UK to generate electricity after the final coal power plant shut down last year. Heat pumps can also, of course, be run overnight at cheap off-peak rates or powered during the day from a battery like the Tesla Powerwall that you charged overnight on those cheap off-peak rates. Or if you have solar panels, then they can power your heat pump, the rest of your house and top up your house battery, as well as sell any excess for a profit. Once you electrify everything, there's so much more cool stuff you can do, and it's much more flexible and convenient to help you save money and still live comfortably. So if you'd like to explore switching your energy supply to Octopus, then use my referral link from the video description, and you and I both get £50 bill credit. And for solar panels and heat pumps installed by Octopus, even if you're not a customer yet, you can also get £100 off your install with my referral code.